we reconstruct several different aspects of the environment in the VEP. Probably the most important of those is to try to reconstruct the potential production of maize on the landscape through time as that changes as climates change. The other aspects of the environment that we reconstruct are where is the water on the landscape, how much water was available there, where is the forest, what kinds of resources were available in the forest, uh, how fast is that growing. Then the most tricky thing in a way is trying to reconstruct the populations of three important game species on the landscape, rabbits, hare, and deer. And of course, for forests and for game, the distributions of those things change as the Pueblo households use those resources. If you cut down a tree today, it's not there tomorrow. And so we have to keep track in the simulation of not just where things were at a certain time, but how the usage of those resources changes the distribution of those resources. We're actually reconstructing a lot of different parts of past environments. The big things that I've been focusing on are reconstructing temperature and precipitation over the, the time period of the village projects and really over the past 2,000 years. Um, other things that we focus on reconstructing are soils across the, our study areas. Uh, the reason is, is that people are growing corn in these soils and they're also um, going and gathering wild resources around the landscape. And a lot of the productivity, the amount, the amount of resources that you can get off the landscape is going to depend on those soils. The simulation, what we did is we downloaded this modern data of what the different soils are and what different plants grow there. And we compiled that for all of our different cells that we study. So our, our study area is divided into little um, squares and I'm going to refer to those as cells. So within these cells, we know exactly what type of soils are there and exactly what type of plants were growing when these scientists walked around and looked at the dirt and at the plants. That is really helpful. Because if we are going to try and model the archaeological record of how people lived, we need to know that there were different types of soil and that corn grows better in certain types of soil than in others. And that deer are more likely to eat certain plants than others. And so areas where those plants grow, the deer are going to be more abundant. And areas where those plants don't grow, the deer are not going to be. So we take that information, we put it into our simulation, and then we do something that we call retrodiction where we basically predict the past. 